to wind up with a young asset oh, like man. Angelo Russell when you're just losing KD. That's a great move. Hats off to Bob Myers. Sounds like a guy who's going to trade D'Angelo Russell. I mean, he sounds like an example when he goes, well, we don't know how he's going to fit yet. Look, when I say they, it's to acquire an asset like D'Angelo Russell, that's what he is. He's an asset. He's a trade chit. It is possible that he sh proves me wrong and, and Myers patience and is actually being honest. Like, let's see how he fits in. But this is a dude with the Lakers who ratted out teammates on, you know, like in all types of stuff that destroyed the locker room. So they got rid of him. This is a dude who in Brooklyn, as, as Will Kane pointed out on this show to Stephen A. Smith and me, um, tried to get weed onto an airplane oh, yes. in a liquid container. Mm. The one place you can't hide it <laughs> oh, oh, young fella. is the place that, that they're going to look. What's they, they <laughs> must They must check that container. <laughs> This is not, and this is a dude who, look, do you think D'Angelo Russell entered the league and maybe has remained a bit entitled for a young player who hasn't done much yet? Who was the number two pick in the draft? I would say he's been humbled. He's been, he's maybe, been humbled. Maybe, but boy, he's going to have to be really humbled, I think, to fit into that locker room. So, is D'Angelo Russell special in one, any one area? I think he's a special passer. Yeah, he can pass, He can play. He can He's run not, pick and roll. He can run the pick and roll well. There are guys who can run it better than him. He got burned at the point, really, and was able to step forward when Dinwiddie got hurt, right? I mean, he wasn't the first option there even. He was lucky to make the all-star team. It is not certain that he will ever make another all-star team. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. He's made one as an alternate. Um, this is not Steph Curry. This is one guy we've never seen before. Klay Thompson, one of the greatest shooters of all time. Draymond Green, along with Steph Curry, redefined the modern NBA as his pick-and-roll partner and do-everything-on-defense guy. No, D'Angelo Russell is unlikely to stick with the Warriors. He's much more likely to be used in a trade. He is an asset. Should he be traded, though? I, I, I can't stand when you do this, Max. Like, you take these soft stances. I don't know where you are on the issue. I get the uncertainty in Bob Myers, but should they trade him or not? Yes. For How's what? That? Wait, wait. For I'm what? Just, I'm just curious. Do you know where For I stand what? on the issue now? Why? You, you understand where I stand on the issue now, right? <laughs> Not, and I don't, I don't know where you stand because you you're, you're talking about you how good he is. You talking about how good he is on one hand, okay. and you talking about oh his his off the court stuff. And guess what? This guy matured with the Nets. He he had a, a, a obviously an All Star year. Whatever asterisks or whatever you want to put under him. I, 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 it, it looks yes, clear to me. I, I trade him. Did I did I do it? So that's too soft. All right, look, we're we're talking about trades right here though. But what happens if he does stay with the Warriors? How will he fit into that system? Well, I mean, Steph is really a two guard who's too small to play the two. The ball doesn't stick with him at all. And so D'Angelo Russell as a combo backcourt mate might work that way. By the way, when I say trade him, for who? I don't mean this moment. Before the trade deadline at some point, you get a whole bunch of good stuff. Let me help you out here. Let me, hold on. Let me help you out here. When you have a talent, arguably or easily the greatest shooter of all time, you can argue the greatest point guard of all, of all no, time. You can't. The guy who changed the way we play basketball for a generation ever. When you say we. Yeah, yeah, something you didn't do. <laughs> Ten years in the NBA, Max. How do you say that you do not want to assemble the best talent around him? And the one thing the Warriors have showed with Curry, Clay, KD, you can never have enough firepower. In fact, it's the big mistake that Oklahoma City made. They had three MVPs on the same team. They didn't think there was enough basketballs. Look at that roster. Tell me who else is going to go out and create a shot for themselves. That's why he could be useful in the first half could of, be. The, could of be. the season. That's they right. They need somebody else. You, you're right. Okay, let me At slow down. At the moment, but let me ask he you this. will be traded let me, from let me this help you team, here. likely what? this season. When you only saw Steph Curry, because yeah. this is a sample size in the NBA Finals, what happened? What did that Toronto defense do to Steph st from a strategic standpoint? Sure. Did you see two and three guys jumping out yep. at him? Double, triple, a box and one! Right. And it worked. He played against yeah. the why And it worked. It, but why did it work? Though? Because there was no other offense on the floor. No other offense on the yep. floor. What is D'Angelo Russell? He's safe, safe to say, playmaker, right? Sure. Playmaker. So without Clay out, even Clay being Wait. back, this roster desperately needs a playmaker, and they need to get younger, and D'Angelo Russell brings both to the Warriors. And yet, I'm telling you right now, he will surely be traded because, number one, while he is a playmaker and a good young ascending player, he is not a great player, and it is unclear, in fact, doubtful he will ever become a great player. One. Two. 
How does his personality fit in that locker room? My guess is not well based on past, based on his history, past being prologue, right? So if the personality is not a fit and the skills, you're right, it gives you a secondary playmaker, which the team needs in the short run. But in fact, more different teams probably value higher because they need a point guard or a playmaker in the first place then the Warriors are much more likely to use him as an asset to bring back something they more need or better value. I don't know what more they need or what realistic they can have. Let me ask you something. Would it be safe to say that D'Angelo Russell is guilty by association? You put him in an immature locker room with the Lakers, youth, it's not going to work. Well, he was the you ringleader of the immature, though. Okay. You take him to the Nets, you place him around guys like Ed Davis, uh, uh Jared Dudley, Damari Carroll, veterans, veterans. He gets an all-star year. You put him with, with not just professionals, you put him in a Golden State locker room with winners, with champs. How do you think Golden State sees him? As a, trading, a tradable asset or as the, the solution? I think they are happy as heck. When the executive who made the deal doesn't come out and say, we don't want to trade D'Angelo. We love this guy. But when he's like, well, we need to wait and see. What, what is he really here's, saying? Here's the, here's the truth, though, if you're Bob Myers. I do understand there's a level of question with his maturity. So you got to keep D'Angelo at base. Man, we, we don't want you to look a little too excited, young Good fella. Let, let, let's always explore our options. Well, let's D'Angelo be Russell there. could definitely be a secondary playmaker with the Warriors in addition to averaging 21.1 points that, last season. You Russell that, ranked in the top 10 in both assists per game and three-point field just, goals made. So, Ryan, you're saying keeping him. Max Hammer, your sign. Uh, he trade him. Yeah. Trade him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're moving what? on now. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.